Someone's out there. Probably facing that way. Oh, I got shotgun ammo. Range weapons. Press oh, equipment. Press triangle to use your range weapons and inflict both standard damage and stun damage. Be aware that your ammo is limited. So I can. Uh... No, there's no like quick equip. Oh, that's for serums. Look at that. Skill slots. In hand. Off hand. Okay, guns going off hands. Uh, oh, okay, right on the D pad switches. This is a thing. And some shillings. Something else there. Oh, this guy. Shiny. New practices, new tactics. I know that some of our companions consider the best advantage we have in our fights against leeches is that they can't go out during the day, thus, we hunt them down when they hide, powerless in their sleep. This is a rookie mistake. First, because vampires are clever, and they have countless ruses and tricks to avoid being spotted in their den. Second, because they have deployed many deadly traps to kill any intruders in what they consider the most precious sanctuary. It would cost us too much men and too much time to explore and eradicate the vampires in their hideouts. The best tactic is to follow and destroy them when they are really vulnerable. When they hunt at night, it is much easier to attack them then, for they can easily be spotted. That's why the Guard of Prewin must evolve, and deploy new tactics to hunt leeches, small, and mobile patrols, tactics based on technological advances, modern communication. We can learn many things from the war in France. New strategy, new equipment, new weaponry. Grenades, white phosphorus, ultraviolet light, bulletproof vest, and flamethrower. It's time for the god to embrace the 20th century. From A New War, by Jeffrey McCallum, pre-win leader. Track the killer. Follow the blood trail from the pier. It's locked, all right. It's locked, but James Bond is over there. Bow tie and everything. That's all from located near hideouts. Senses will help you locate them more easily. I'm full on blood. I'm guessing that's a hideout. The trail of blood does go that way, but there's a lot up here. You found a hideout. Here you can spend your XP while resting or craft items while at the workbench. Okay, workbench I haven't been introduced to yet. Common handle part, lead plate. Uh, gun upgrades, probably. Okay, what's this? Shillings. Medicine. On a work 
Democrats, you can craft medical treatments to heal sick citizens, serums to boost yourself, weapon upgrades to improve and customize your weapons. You have enough components to improve one of your weapons. Press R2. Select a melee weapon to upgrade it. three stun points when the weapon hits. Decrease stamina consumption by 10%. So 30 goes down to 27, or stun goes up to 13. Oh, I probably can't do any of these though, right? Yeah, no. So, they said melee weapon. One hand. Oh, Okay, now for that, it'll upgrade the rarity. So those are like extra things to do? Oh, I still can't do the stake. You need to use stake, you need to turn the handle. Okay, so the machete. Use machete now to calm. Trusty machete? Common. Common machete. Trophy earned. Work in progress. experience. I don't think that's enough to invest in something, but there are these passives. I know this is an RPG and you call it spooky, but is it really horror? More like horrible. Increase your life regeneration when using bite in combat. Increase the damage inflicted when using bite in combat. Increase your stamina your health. Increase your blood capacity. Increase your blood absorption when using bite in combat. Yeah! Ooh, that's a big tree. twice if I wanted to or you can also do life regen which I guess that'll help with fire rate faster generation is what I have or, yeah no I don't that's what I could get because I'm like of level I need level 6 for two if I want to go further to I got it okay This stuff. Coagulation will block your target's blood in your veins, making them defenseless. Ooh. Blood barrier. You create an invisible barrier, absorbing direct damage until it fades or is destroyed. Also, ooh. I kind of like coagulation. Shadow Veil. Ooh, that's dope. The ultimate. Rage. This. Create shadow vortex at your target's feet coming to life. Shadows interrupt an enemy in the area and inflict tremendous damage. That seems dope. Your power and bull your target's blood. Jeez, causing it to violently explode. Taking damage to target and anything nearby. I'll just confirm what I got so far. 185. What about the auto phagy? Oh, it's said it to be level 6 for that. Locked. Surprise, surprise. 
fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. to use a special ability. The scythe, for instance, can be superior to incoming attack, inflicting heavy stun damage if timed correctly. Shall we play with the scythe? There is no offhand. Ooh, but that damage, though. <laughs> This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. some of the sexy vampires, huh? Uh, there is kind of seduction in this. Oh, can I not put that at the moment? Man. William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well. Another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir. Listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They'll stray without me. And jealous? Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. That feels racist. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. Oh, shit. She ain't wrong. By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. Was he the murderer? William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires taken medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Go with the good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. Tessa, go with the best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. Oh, okay. I just need a moment. Thank you, Mr. Priest. Doctor. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. 
your fancy motorboat. She's a vampire. Uh, that's what it was. Blood sample of Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Perhaps the doctor knows of a place that this other doctor. Yes, I'm a vampire. Trophy earned. At dawn we rub. Isn't it romantic? Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. But I will tell you she values her privacy. Well, well, London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal. If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. Mm, a yes. physician, like yourself, Dr. Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, Fancy. if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of... Or William, I was certain. Dr. Reed, marvelous. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> Ain't it convenient? Again. From a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul yes. has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to hey, learn. Hey, you stop the boat! Of that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. Or I kill you. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed, and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? Yeah, I've been walking around in a bloody shirt the whole game. It seems I have little choice. 
But yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, I'll find a oh, good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King and Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only yeah. thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. I'm coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. But what's in this alley? Take me to hospital. Nah. Analyze Williams. He's smart, <laughs> Hey. Rotten or crusty, each heart contains the secret of life. Drink at this river, dry it all. Yeah. Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop you staring and get me to an hospital, you ass! Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. Well, be polite. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. The blood quality indicates how much experience you will obtain from a particular citizen. The higher the blood quality, the more experience you get. To drink the blood of your prey, you first need to mesmerize them to lead them out of sight from others. Your mesmerized level must be equal or higher than the citizen's resistance. Press L1 to mesmerize Kalei. Consequences. Learning more about citizens and collecting their hints will increase the experience gained. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. See what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get to know you better, Clay. And you're gonna give me a lot of experience. 
Have a good Did night. Black <laughs> It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go, but no famished hunter can run for long. Look at that, right now it's 500 XP, but we gonna blimp that up. be irresistible to me, Clay. Irresistible. Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised, but I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, Your blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced He's of a Good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. Sir? Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here. And we're trying to hold fast, but how do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. An invisible enemy? Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could He's all do with a good very night's sleep. on guard. Lee. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Is there anyone that stands out? Did well, I just this? I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop to. and get some rest. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. Goodbye, okay. nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Come on, I don't have all night. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Don't you Thank feel you, silly nurse. now? What can I do for you? Got you work. Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. I would like to ask a few questions first.
What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The Administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he feel? Shen. I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. An aid satan to his flock? If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Take me to church! Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett, yes, I remember. Rockefeller. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. Eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. No. We must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more, unto the breach. Nurse Brannigan is worried about you, Doctor. <laughs> she should not have told you that. I will have a word with her. You don't have to blame her for her honesty. <laughs> I'm not that kind of man, my dear Jonathan. Actually, Nurse Brannigan's opinion is the only one I may listen to. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. It's not exactly the best situation in London, either. I can't have expected this hospital to be prepared for what was to come. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. Oh. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are... Not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Tell me more about cherished people, then. Nurse Brannigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire her skills. I'll go even further. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. Do you need any medical assistance yourself, Doctor? Come on, don't be ridiculous, dear colleague.
What can you tell me about the st Some are really good. Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve, but I must admit he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong. Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office now and again. Okay. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? This hospital... It's not a... Don't be mis... Uh, okay, now I got all this. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Good day to you, sir. I said good day. Sir. As a nurse, Karkin is exhausting himself, refuses to stop. Yeah, he's still got some where to go on the feed cycle. I see. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver. Hello, hello, Milton Hooks. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Are you really smuggling weapons through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know. And by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been yeah, an ambulance judgy, driver judgy. since... Too long, I guess. Jeez, man. I'll bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job. But I get it done. Most of the time. It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing in. I escaped through the hospital's garden. But I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital. That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want. But be careful, Doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. Since you're on the front line, in the garden, how is the sanitary it. situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is all right? It's fucking awful. We lack everything. Oh, okay. And it's getting worse every day. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Okay, 
Alright, so that's what he has to buy. Militant shotgun. How much money do I have? Oh, I got 51 shillings. Into uh, the backyard garden. Find a house on the second floor. Ooh, this is a nice place to feed off of somebody. Probably Milton. Uh, -huh. uh can I save and quit here? I am getting close to hitting my wall. I don't know. I might have to repeat some conversations next time. That's just it. That was Vampire. Wasn't it scary? Ooh. That is a tale for another time. When Vampire returns. Sometime soon. I think I finished this game. When I have more time to sink my teeth into it. Or my fangs. Ah, ah, ah. Good night.